Is it time to turn to value or is this just a summer lull story? I think you, t you traditionally see in the summer a rotation into value. Uh, you know, people normally have made good monies from their growth investments that by this stage as the market volumes ebb away they're looking to consolidate those and have a tendency to to rotate into value i think value has done badly this year it's been trumped basically yep. you think of the industries that would typically fall into that sector and they've they've really suffered in the short term yes they're picking up because there's some relief from trade war fears but i'm not ready to to rush in i think there are a lot of still exciting mid-cap growth names as i just mentioned i think there are a lot of opportunities and i would say that is a triumph for fundamentals over hope that, that chart i want to take I want to take this advantage, Andrew, to ask you about Tesla because in Einhorn's letter he wrote that his Tesla was acting up in some annoying ways. The lease was up and so he's glad he can shift over to a Jaguar. Of course, he is talking his book when it comes to Tesla. As the head of sustainable uh, investing, what do you think about this stock? I mean, some people think, you know, it's the second coming, or Elon Musk maybe is. Other people think it's unbelievable that anyone could go long uh, such a money loser. Yeah, uh, just because I have the, the title head of sustainable investing doesn't mean I just buy icons for the sake of it, you know. Tesla and Elon Musk are disruptive. I think they're going to have a massive impact on the industry, but I wouldn't touch the stock with a barge pole. Um, you know, I'm, I have to say, I'm, I'm afraid I'm in, the, in the, the negative camp. I look at the fundamentals and I don't see a stock that offers me any value, any visibility and has questions around governance and even possibly the way that they, they account. You know, I think there's a lot of... Uh, I think a lot going on to try and keep up the second-hand value of those Teslas, and um, therefore I think we might find those uh, the the the, you know, the profits that well they're not even any profits, but actually the underlying numbers might be a bit more challenged than uh, even the headline numbers suggest. If you're not buying Tesla, what are you buying? I kind of is there a is there a Tesla alternative that is going to have the same is having the same market effect, i.e., driving the electrification story? but actually fits better into your portfolio, has better numbers, has better sort of top line, middle of the P&L, bottom line. Is there a company that, that kind of is the anti-Tesla that, uh, that hasn't been recognized yet? Well, I wouldn't say anti-Tesla, but it's the, those are uh, companies that are going to benefit from the trend towards electric vehicles, so only around battery, battery technology, component companies that are shifting more to focusing on electric vehicles. So think about the picks and shovels of the electric right. vehicle gold rush. You don't need to buy the, you know, the, you know, the, the, the manufacturers themselves, but at the end of the day, making cars is a tough business you normally trade on. So you don't buy Matt's Volkswagen? Um, at the moment, I think Volkswagen's still in transition. I'd be really interested to hear what they talk about their electrification of the fleet. I think Audi was going to come out with their uh, e-tron uh, uh, later this year. That's been delayed. So I'm really interested to see the pace and speed with which Volkswagen can actually move from diesel, which they dominated, towards electric vehicles. That's going to be a really interesting story, I think, unfolding.